thank you again for being here today. And yes, I would love to blame the technical problems on the virus, but I guess I can't really do that, but love to do that. And for everybody that is on the phone or on this webinar, if you would like to drop something in the chat as to why you're here, what you would like to walk away with, I would appreciate it. Um, I do really try to make sure every question gets answered, so please don't hesitate to drop the question in the chat box as we go through this. And if I see it, and I hope I do, I promise I will respond. Point of view is one of the most powerful tools anybody can have in their tool chest. And I don't care who you are or where you are in your career, if you're a consultant, if you're an IT professional, or uh, project manager, it doesn't really matter. Danny Meyer, he's a restaurateur and, a C and the CEO of Union Square Hospitality Group said, every restaurant needs to have a point of view. And when you think about it, every restaurant does have a point of view. You go to certain restaurants for certain things. And when I ask people, what is their point of view? Occasionally I'll hear what is what they call their value prop. And after listening for a few minutes, I will kind of rephrase it and re-ask my question. Help me understand your point of view regarding what you do. How do you envision your focus or what you do helping somebody? Sometimes people will continue looking at me in puzzlement, and other times I hear, I'm not unique or nobody has ever asked me about my point of view. But guess what? Everybody is unique and everybody has a point of view. It's your standpoint. And today, what I'm hoping you walk away with is an understanding of what is a point of view, the importance of having a point of view, and how you can position yourself to create your own point of view. And as we talk and as I go through this webinar, you will have some ideas of what you need to do to craft your own point of view. And I'll, I'll give you a few tips. Here's the secret, and this is what some people think when they hear point of view, is that everything has to be unique about their point of view, but it's, that's not true. Most point of views are not new, they're not amazing, disruptive ideas. They're actually a combination of pre-existing concepts and ideas modified and reframed to form your approach, your angle, your perspective. Let me provide an example of what I mean, and this is not a person, this is, deals with two people, but it's not a person. Let me talk about Netflix. The founders of Netflix and the execution of their point of view has really disrupted the cable industry when you think about it. Netflix is here to stay. It's not disappearing. But are their concepts really new? Or did they just reframe existing concepts? Stop and think about it. The first disruption was the moving of rented movies from the brick and mortar facilities from the movie theaters into places such as such as Blockbuster to online. The second disruption occurred as the internet became more stable and prevalent. How many of you just stream a movie nowadays? A subscription service emerged and it started operating like magazines and newspaper subscriptions. And that's really what the founders of Netflix did. They didn't really disrupt or reinvent anything. They really took and reframed current concepts and ideas and came up with a new point of view, which they executed, Netflix. Another, and this is a person, this is a writer, is J.R. Rowling. Think about it. She wrote the Harry Potter series, and I don't know about you, but I look forward to reading the series. And I listened to her speak one day. She was st 
still writing books, as to how she came up with her ideas, how she came up with her point of view as to how Harry was going to go on his adventures and his journey. And she was frank. And she talked about what influenced her writing. And it was the books that she read growing up as a kid. The Iliad, The Sword and the Stone. Think about Dumbledore. Doesn't he maybe remind you of Merlin in The Sword and the Stone? Or how about Macbeth? She listed a whole series of books that helped her come up with her point of view and write Harry Potter. Oops. So, let's see. Okay. Wendy, are you still there? I am. If you click on the center of the slide and then press the space bar, you should move forward. You can try the page up, page down. There you go. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. Your point of view is your philosophy. philosophy. It is your perspective. It's your principles. It's your core values. It is what can actually make or break you as you go forward. When you craft your point of view, you rely on your creativity. Here's the thing, creativity can't be forced. It's not a process. It requires observing what is occurring around you, like the founders of Netflix, or Rowling with the books. It requires you to change your mindset from what is, it requires you to change your mindset. What's, what is it to be, what might it be, and it requires you to come up with a new approach based on existing concepts and ideas. Um, as I'm talking, I'm reading some of the comments in the chat here, so I apologize for that. Um, it's not something new, but it helps you help other people. You will leverage your expertise as you craft your point of view. And here's this thing. Sometimes when you come up with your point of view, it'll be right as soon as you come out of the gate. Other times, you'll discard it and start over. And other times, you're just going to keep refining it. So let's talk a little bit more about your point of view. On the left, you see a person that's disheveled. He's Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that last clip. My name is Michael Maloudis, and if you'd like to watch the full 60 minutes of that last webcast, while also gaining complete unlimited access to our entire library of IT learning, simply visit our subscribe page at greatpro.org slash subscribe. Unlimited annual access is $199 per year, but if you use the coupon code learn to earn you can drop that membership fee to just $149. That's less than $13 per month for unlimited access to over 1,000 hours of on-demand career development, covering the entire spectrum of IT management best practices, including business analysis and requirements, software development, quality and testing, risk management, process improvement, project management, and even digital transformation. But your membership doesn't just give you unlimited access to our vast learning library. You also get free access to our mobile app, as well as direct access to our network of over 300 of the world's leading IT consultants, all of whom are dedicated to putting practical knowledge at your fingertips so that you can learn more and earn more. I hope you will join me in becoming a member of the great IT professional and advancing your career with us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button above so that you get notified whenever we publish new free webcasts each week of the year. Thank you for your time and best wishes for your continued success.